Friends, the Love Reality Group is in the news again. A conference has issued a statement warning members of the SDA Church against the teachings of Love Reality. So, we are going to look into this right now. But before I do that, if this is your first time here, you are welcome to the channel. Here on this channel, I share and comment on events that are taking place both within and outside of the church. So, if you want to really know what is going on in the church, I think you need to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any video I publish, okay? So, let's get into it right now. If you could remember some months ago, I think about six or eight months ago, um, uh, the issue of love reality came up and uh, there was a video made by Pastor Ted Wilson warning church members about the teachings of love reality. Um, I'm talking about this particular video. Let's watch it and after that, I will come and share the new updates with you about <laughs> love reality, okay? So let's get into this video right now. Number six, false doctrines that are circulating, and there are many. There are misconceptions and false doctrines circulating about the salvation process. These false doctrines diminish sanctification. One false movement, you may not have heard about it, and that's fine, but it is circulating among some of our university and college campuses. It's called love reality. And it's been teaching this false understanding about Christ's full justifying and sanctifying righteousness. Now, these are derivatives of the false doctrine of once saved, always saved, which Seventh-day Adventists do not believe. Unfortunately, it is promoted that behavior is not important since God loves you and uh, just don't worry about uh, what you're doing as long as you feel embraced by God's love. God's love is powerful, important. But these false doctrines are very dangerous and should not be accepted since they destroy the entire understanding of Christ's justifying and sanctifying righteousness. We are facing, this is my opinion, we are facing the shaking and sifting period in the church right now. There are those who are drifting out of a clear understanding of who we are and what we believe. Do not be tempted with false doctrines that take you away from God's remnant church. We have been chosen for mission. So friends, that was what Pastor Ted Wilson said about love reality. And uh, you heard everything that he said, okay? Now, after this video by Pastor Ted Wilson, there are many conferences that have issued statements warning church members, I mean SDA church members, about the teachings of love reality. All right, so on June 27, 2024, the Oklahoma Conference Administration issued this statement, friends, and I'm going to read the statement right now. And it's all about love reality, or the teachings of love reality in the church, within the SDA church. So, um, the statement says, In recent months, a teaching called love reality raised some theological concerns in the Oklahoma Conference. In April 2024, the Oklahoma Conference Administration organized a committee to study the love reality teaching. The committee found that some aspects of Love Reality's message are out of harmony with the current Seventh-day Adventist beliefs. In light of these findings, the committee recommended to the Oklahoma Conference Executive Committee that the Love Reality teaching as a whole is unbiblical and contrary to Seventh-day Adventist beliefs. The recommendation was voted and accepted by the Oklahoma Conference Executive Committee on May 30, 2024. So, this was a statement put out by the Oklahoma Conference about um, their study concerning 
the teachings of love reality all right and now in this month i mean in the month of september 2024 there is another statement by a different conference about the love reality group or love reality teachings within the sda church and uh, i'm going to share with you the statement um, released by this conference and the conference name is georgia cumberland conference all right the georgia cumberland conference issued this statement and it says georgia cumberland conference perspective on love reality we believe that the good news of the gospel of jesus christ and uh, the precious message of righteousness by faith in him are at the heart of the three angels message it is only through experiencing this gospel that christ love can be revealed through our lives and uh, we be prepared for his soon return the enemy of truth seeks to distort this gospel into the extremes of either legalistic perfectionism by human efforts or a lifestyle of hyper grace that is permissive and antinomian the experience of those at both extremes is devoid of genuine fulfillment and divine peace and power making them susceptible to false teachings while some have been blessed by portions of the love reality message their core teachings seem to cause divisiveness and theological contradictions with the seventh day adventist church's understanding of scripture the ultimate outcomes have proven in many places to be divisive and unhealthy the georgia cumberland conference does not support or encourage the ideas being promoted by this organization georgia cumberland conference administration so friends this was the statement put out by the georgia cumberland conference about the love reality group and uh, looking at the statements that i have read and uh, um, what was said by pastor ted wilson it is very clear that they all spoke about the core teachings or the core gospel of love reality but i want us to balance things here um you know i want us to balance things here so we're going to go and listen to um uh, some of the teachings of love reality and uh, compare them with the beliefs that we hold as seventh day adventist or compare them with what we believe in uh, the bible and uh, so we're going to look at this particular video i think i've shared it before right here on this channel um this teaching was presented by one of the leaders of the love reality group one of the key let me say that or main leaders of the love reality group and this person is an adventist pastor or let me use was an adventist pastor right so let's get into it and look at what he presented about sin about righteousness or any other thing like let's get into the video right now you understand me some of us believe that ravens fed a man directed by god some of us believe that there was a man who stepped on a fiery chariot and just flew off into the heavens. Some of y'all believe that a legit iron axe head floated on water. Everybody's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, yep, nope. Why? Y'all you super confident, why? Because it it's written. In Christ by faith, you're free from sin. Whoa, buddy, hold on. Hold on, you don't know my life. Are you kidding me? You're willing to say that a dead Jewish peasant is the universe's king who will come back in glory. And at this point, when he tells us we're free from sin, we're like, whoa, whoa. Paul says some difficult things. I want to challenge you. Will you be willing to believe the word of God over your life this week? Are you willing to take a journey 
that says that your life is not what we've been told it is and that our reality in Christ is not one that's disempowered and one day is going to get something, but that our reality in Christ is that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us now so that we are free now because Christ has set us free for freedom. Galatians 5.1, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Yeah? I'm going to name three ways that we're free from sin, and then we're going to go home. Just so you at least get an inkling of where we're going. Three ways. You ready? Rapid fire. Way number one, you're free from the power of sin. Okay? The Bible clearly teaches this. 1 Corinthians 15. You are free from the power of sin. You're going to be really surprised at what the power of sin is. I'm going to give you a spoiler alert. It's the law. That one hits real good for Adventist. <laughs> and be all right. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist pastor. I affirm. But yet, I'm a mess with y'all. Okay? You're free from the power of sin, and the power of sin is the law. I didn't make that up. I read it. 1 Corinthians 15. Go home. Check it out. It's around verse 52 to 56. 1 Corinthians 15, 52 to 56. The power of sin is the law, and you are dead to the law. You are free from the power of the law. <laughs> so, friends, you heard that. You heard everything that... Um, he said in uh, the video, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but let me pass my comment before I leave. Let me pass my comment before I leave. I have really um, studied the love reality message. I have watched some of their videos, not all of their videos, but I have watched some of their videos on YouTube and uh, I have concluded that some of their messages or some of their teachings, I think, are problematic. Like some of their teachings are not um, consistent with the Bible. It looks like they are having or they are promoting a kind of um, teachings from the evangelical church. Like some of their teachings are similar to that of the evangelicals, all right? Uh, especially when it comes to um, sin when it comes to salvation and some other few teachings they are really similar to the teachings of the evangelicals all right so that is what i see to be a problem <laughs> i don't know whether you have also um, studied the love reality group or you have also heard some of their messages you know but if you have i will also um, allow you to share your thoughts in the comments um thanks for watching as usual i'm your only brother god bless you